Hey everyone, Spooky Matt here. Welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. Uh, this will be a bit of a shorter recording maybe, because in about an hour I'm going to be doing a stream with my buddy Dream in Silence over on his Twitch channel of uh, Dark Souls 2, continuation of his Dark Souls 2 playthrough. So yeah, if you haven't uh, checked that out, uh, yeah, Dream in Silence, I think each word is in, or each word is capitalized, but it's all smashed together, there's no spaces in between, and that's on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to start with a little bit of a rant, I know you didn't ask for this, but you're going to get it anyway. Um, <laughs> so the rant is that I really, really, really don't like FedEx as a delivery service. I don't mind the post office or UPS or even like DHL or any of the international shipping options like Royal Mail out of the UK. But man, I don't like FedEx and here's why. So what FedEx will do is you'll order something online from whatever company. And let's say you do this on, mon on a Monday. And then the next day, you'll get an email from the company. So next day being Tuesday, you'll get an email from the company. And they will say, hey, we just shipped your package. Uh, you know, here's the tracking number. And you'll click on the tracking number and FedEx will say, okay, package will be delivered one week from now. So next Tuesday. And you know, if you're like me, you'll always keep checking because sometimes the package arrives quicker. You know, it just it just does, especially with the post office and UPS is my experience. And indeed, this is what happened. Uh, Friday, I checked and it said, oh, new update on your package. Uh, your package is going to arrive on Monday now, a day early. And so I was really excited. And not, e not only that, it, they even said Monday between like 1045 and 245. So they were very specific because this particular package requires a signature. So I was like, oh, great, I'm going to get it a day early. Awesome. And I'm off Monday, even better. Then today comes, and you know, I, if you're like me, you get really excited and you're like, oh, it's the day I'm going to get my package. So I wake up and one of the first things I do is check my email and I check that tracking number. And you go to that FedEx website and it still says, it still says delivery today, Monday, August 14th. But then you notice on the actual delivery route, it is still in Troutdale, Oregon. It is not in Washington state at all. And then you get a text message from FedEx that says, hey, just a reminder, this is uh, a delivery that will require a signature and it will be on August 15th. So, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that FedEx is the only company I know of, and this happens almost every time I have something shipped by them, is they will update the tracking to say that you will be getting your package early, only for them to be like, uh, actually, yeah, it's not going to be early. You'll be getting it on the original day we said, sometimes even a day later. And you find that out on the day you were supposed to get it, like that early day. <coughs> Like I say, FedEx does that to me all the time. It's really annoying. You'd think I'd have learned my lesson by now. Uh, but I keep falling for it. I keep falling for it. And, oh my god, I'm just so annoyed. The reason I'm so annoyed this time is because this package being delivered to me is my graphics card. So I'm really excited for it. And I'm annoyed that I have to wait an extra day for it. Maybe that's just... I don't know, maybe I'm the one that's ridiculous complaining about waiting an extra day for a video card, but I think I'm still on the right at being pissed at FedEx for making it seem like I was going to get it a day early, only for them to do what they always do and turn right around and be like, nope, sorry, we lied. You're actually going to get it on that original day we said. Oh my god. Anyway, rant over. Continuing with Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, so if you weren't here last time, just an update. Uh, is this downtown? Yeah. Beckett. Remember Beckett, the other gang grill. Uh, he wants us to find Professor Johansson. Anders Johansson. He's being held by the Society of Leopold at some weird mosque or 
holy place in Malibu. So, yeah. Now, unlike the Giovanni uh, experience that we had, we're not going to have to worry about talking our way into this place. We either have to sneak in or we got to fight our way in. Where to? So let's just do it. Oh my goodness. Alright, here we are. Gloomy beach area. Which way do I go? And there's definitely a pathway this way, but there looks like there's also a pathway back this way. I don't know. I'll go this way first, I guess. No, I won't, because guess what? There is a crevasse, and if this was Dark Souls, there'd be a message here that says, Try Fatty. Okay. I should also mention I had uh, another annoying thing happen to me today. Uh, as people who view these videos probably know at this point, I have Crohn's disease, and so every two weeks I have to give myself an injection of Humira medication which will hopefully put me, oh god, hopefully put me in remission at some point. Um. Greetings, Commander. Greetings, Soldier. Anything to report? The Gladius Day has told us to keep a sharp eye. He thinks we may have some visitors this evening. Of course, sir. This guy but sounds like somebody from Skyrim. Take the Brotherhood. All seems quiet for now. Good, good. Did he mention... What kind of visitor, sir? The only kind that matters, so... That is absolutely a voice from Skyrim. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, yeah, so I went to give myself my injection. And it's like a spring-loaded syringe. You push a button, the needle shoots out under your skin, and then... Blah, 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 blah. You've got... Uh, you've got your injection. You just have to hold it there for 15 seconds, and then let go. I don't know what happened today. The needle, like, it definitely poked through me. But it also rebounded back out instantly. And when I pulled the syringe away, all the liquid just fell out, just dribbled down my leg. So it fired out of the needle and just went nowhere. So I wasted a syringe is the point that I'm trying to make. So that was really annoying. Thankfully I had a spare. Well, this isn't good. Jesus. Yeah, we'll just do that. Oh ho, what is this? Hmm. Let's see what's down here. Anyway, so Yeah, I potentially wasted a syringe. I called my nurse, my Humera nurse, because you have one of those, believe it or not. And uh, she said, hey, what it sounds like is none of that actually went inside your leg. Because it was hard for me to tell. I was like, maybe half of it went in. I don't know. She's like, just use the other one just to be safe because you don't have to worry about giving yourself too much at this point. And then call this number and they'll send you a replacement for free. So I was like, oh, sweet. So that makes me feel better. I thought I'd just fucked up so bad. What is the point of this? Is this like what happens after I escape later? Is I have to come out of there? I don't know. <laughs> this is really weird. I thought I was like going to be able to sneak in though. Through like a sewer pipe. Well, let's keep going this way. We definitely can't go in that door, eh? There's just, uh, way too many dudes and they ain't moving. Believe it or not, I might actually be able to sneak by those guys, but I, I really don't know. Okay, there's a lad. I have really good sneak, so I'm not super worried about anything at the moment. You'd think he'd be able to see me, but he obviously can't. Uh, 
Oh boy, I don't like this. Oh, I take that. Aha, they left a door open. Heh, let's go ahead and save again. Yeah, when you're sneaking, you want to save a lot. Let's just be honest. Oh, what is he doing? Okay, I gotta watch out for him. I gotta watch out for the guy that's back there. Oh, shit. done. Oh, that was... It's actually a little frightening here. Hopefully that guy stays far away. I thought that guy was the other guy. Do this. Should be able to just sneak on by. He's going that way. He's over there, not even paying attention. In we go, please. Fuck. This isn't good. Where is Blood Buff? Get in. Oh my god. Holy. Shit. Oh boy. That is absolute. Lord, I pray now that you give me strength in battle, that I might overcome the hordes of Satan and his children, that I might wield the flaming sword of the Archangel and defend myself with your shield of faith, and that my victories are many and my wounds few, that I might further your kingdom here on earth. And if I meet death tonight, then let it be first that I cast a mighty host of demons back into the lake of fire whence they came, and then rest finally. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and save now. He's saying a fancy prayer. He's just content with praying. Heat? Sig? Password. Oh boy, this ain't gonna end well, is it? Yep, this is not ending well at all. Power? Okay, okay, good. Nope. Alright, well, I can't do anything with that. Am I? I'm not going to save again. Am I too tall? This isn't good. Why is my tacking not working? I can't tell if I'm too tall for this. There we go. Oh yeah, I'm way too fucking tall. I don't know what to do at this point. I can't grab those. I wish whoever was over here would come back. So if I can hop over this, I'm going to do that. That's going to be pretty tough, though. Because 
because I already know what's going to happen, is the moment I stand up to try and go over that, that guy's going to come walking by here and be like, oh, what's going on? Like he did earlier. All right. Well, I've waited this long. Let's save again. Oh shit, was that him? Or did I just see... Yeah, I just saw something. Okay. Shit. Oh shit. It's saying that there's somebody very close. Well, that worked. Can't imagine this is going to end well. Just nearly killed myself. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Okay, well, I'm going to save again, actually. I know I'm low on health, but I can always reload one of the other ones if need be. This is the guy that I was looking for earlier. Let's see if this works. Ooh, he doesn't have very good blood. There's another door in. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's do this. That worked out very well. This is the guy I want. I'm just going to try and break his neck. See if this works. <laughs> Inventory full. What do I what am I full on? Maybe it's just the type of ammo? Stare Aug. Or maybe it's like I can't pick that up. Hang on. That's probably what it is. What do I want to drop though? <sighs> crossbow? I mean the crossbow fucking sucks, let's be honest. I'm going to drop this. Okay, what do we got in here? <laughs> the gun I just dropped. Cool. Love it.
This can be a little dicey. What is this? Journal. Not sure what this is going to involve here. <sighs> I guess it must just be this. Yeah. This journal is inscribed with the initials GB. We have, a, we have tracked LaCroix to Los Angeles. He has made his lair in the penthouse of the Venture Tower, hiding behind some legitimate business front while commanding his legion of demons by cover of night. I pray to the Lord for strength in the coming days, but there is a shadow that hangs over my heart like the dark wings of Lucifer himself. It is not LaCroix, I fear, nor his underlings, but there is fear in my heart nonetheless. An ancient evil is stirring. May God grant me the strength to overcome it. Woke up this morning and the sun on my face was little comfort. We lost three of the brethren last night in a fierce battle with some hell spawn. Minions of the vampire we know as Alistair Grout. We have been unable to find his lair, but it is only a matter of time. May God have mercy on the souls of our brethren. The mystery surrounding the Ankaran sarcophagus and the massacre on the Elizabeth Dane excuse me, has my superiors troubled. I have been told to expect a package in the mail that may be helpful in shedding some light on this artifact. Uh, its arrival seems convenient in light of LaCroix's recent arrival. Something is amiss, yet I cannot see what machinations are at play. I will wait and have faith that the Lord will see us through. We finally found the lair of Alistair Grout, but it seems we were too late. The demon had already been sent to hell before I was able to dispatch him. I ran across a younger vampire who seemed unaware of Grout's demise. No doubt one of his sucklings come to visit its master. I took care of that demon and destroyed the house. I thank God for his eternal watchfulness over me and the Brotherhood. There seems a great unrest among the vampire brood here in the city. Perhaps the arrival of LaCroix was unwelcome to the rest of the damned? I know not, nor do I care. They will all burn, whether by my hand or the Father's. The Ankaran sarcophagus was stolen today from the Museum of Natural History. The police report we obtained leads me to believe that the demon spawn were behind it, and the book I received yesterday from the Vatican only reinforces that theory. I know now that these may very well be the end times, and the time of the final struggle may well be upon us. I dreamed of the quarry last night, of his hideous visage burned to ash in a great inferno. May it be that this is a vision given to me by God, and that I will be the vessel of his holy vengeance. The years have been long, too long. Perhaps the soul of my father may finally rest in peace. Brother Kriegler reported a disturbance at the vampire coven we have been observing at the mansion in Hollywood. It seems that there was a party, and that something interrupted their fleshly rituals. He could say no more of the matter, but I smell LaCroix's meddling hand in this. All the better. May the demons feed on themselves until the world is rid of their evil. Hmm. I had dreams of fires in Griffith Park last evening. I know not their origin, but I fear the worst. I received a letter from His Holiness warning me that he is fearful that the apocalypse is upon us and that my mission has become more important than ever. I hold his words close to my heart and will fight for righteousness until I am no longer able. I took Johansson from his hotel room last evening and brought him back here to the monastery. I am convinced that LaCroix will try to find him, as he is the only one with the knowledge about how the artifact can be opened. The brethren have been warned to expect an assault on the monastery, and they are ready to die for his glory, as am I. May the Holy Father bless us in these last dark days, and may the children of Satan burn forever in the hellfires of damnation. Amen. What was that guy's name? Yeah, there's... It's the guy I met in that mansion, so he didn't kill... Grout. This could be very good news. <clears throat> there's explosives right there. Let's make use of them. We're gonna have to actually make some noise here. Oh my god. Fuck me, they're coming. about to make noise so they just walked in there I think did they now I'm all nervous it's not what I meant to do apologies
losing him. I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to do this again. Yeah, there's no way. All right, we're gonna have to make some noise, so let's do it. Damn it, I apologize, I'm not trying to do that. They don't know where I am. Are you kidding me? Because I'm need some backup. because I'm in the Going dark, need some backup. and my sneaking is so good. <sighs> wow, that was incredible. I'm actually a bit concerned about that other guy. This is pretty awesome though. I'm actually doing a really good job. Very pleased with myself. Yeah, he's just hanging out in there. Who gives a shit? All right. Let's continue on up. What is going on in here? Oh my god. This could be bad news. Could be really bad news. Oh god, and there's a hunter now? He's going the other way though. Let's be quick. <laughs> this is like honestly incredible. <laughs> My sneak is so good. And apparently so is my outfit that I'm wearing. That's key. Vampire Apocrypha, what in the world is this? Is that a key over there? It's hard for me to tell. I'm gonna wait for a moment. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. This book is titled Vampire, Vampire or Vampire Apocrypha, Unidentified Sarcophagus, discovered by Julius of Gaul, 1068 AD near Ankara Ottoman Empire. Wow. So Romans? The origin of this dark and mysterious talisman is largely unknown and is mostly considered a myth. If not for the etchings of Julius of Gaul, who first discovered and then subsequently re-entombed the artifact, there would be almost no historical record of the artifact, save for various unfounded legends of its evilness scattered throughout the writings of the Brotherhood. Historians and theologians alike have been unable to ascertain its exact age or place of origin, although the symbols and inscriptions seem to hint that the artifact is from the area of ancient Sumer or Mesopotamia. It has never been opened, and therefore any myths pertaining to who or what might be encased in it are total speculation. Vampiric origins have not been ruled out, although many scholars within the church seem to think that it may hold the remains of an ancient king whose name so far has been lost to the ages. Let it be said, though, that the writings of Julius Gall describe the artifact as being a nefarious and dread thing, full of some ancient and undeniable evil. He attributes the death of his scribe to the artifact, who, upon setting his eyes on it for the first time, began convulsing uncontrollably and promptly died. Oh, wow. Oh, interesting. I can actually look at that. 
Is that dude back where he was? Well, he kind of is, isn't he? I don't know what I just picked up. Society of Leopold interior key, though. I'm definitely going to take that. I don't need to bother with these lads. Whew, man. By the way, I don't know if you like me being in third person or first person, but, uh... I'm staying in first person so I can see around me a little bit better in here. It's a little cramped. Alright. Save the game again. What is this gun, by the way? The st Stayer Aug. Even if the Stayer Aug was lackluster as a weapon, it would still have a lot going for it aesthetically, but this lightweight Austrian submachine gun has proved reliable and effective, making it a popular weapon in militaries around the world. A four times scope is attached for improved accuracy. Yeah, well, we'll see about that. All right. Hey, who are you? No, just kidding. Just a guy standing right there after all my amazing sneaking. What is this? Oh, that's how you open the tin. Sucks to be you, lad. Oh, of course. What the? That scared the shit out of me, I'll be honest. Oh, God, bugs in this game. Oh boy, this could get a little nasty. Another hard save, man. So many hard saves on this playthrough. Hit. That would have been a great time to get him. Let's see if he comes back. Yeah, I can't use this Utica because... He moves quickly right there. Who's there? Oh, he might have seen me. He doesn't seem interested in coming my way, though. Who's there? Who's there? Stop there! Oh, fuck you. Give me what you have. I have been seen. Yeah, I wasn't good enough there. That was a little tricky. I got nervous in a couple spots, though. It's not my fault. Yeah, you can hear the dudes up above, you know, heard something going on. It looks like their AI is not smart enough to come down here or they were unsure of where the shooting was coming from. Ah, oh, well. Oh. Would you look at this? Well, that works. Got a feeling we're going to be okay to just run now. Yep. <clears throat> you can tell when loading sequences are coming up, I've noticed. Well. Wow. 
Why is the music all Italian? Excuse me, I was gonna say I'm gonna have to start sneaking again. We're getting low enough. To where they might notice me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Who's there? I am here. Ooh, he had a Jamie Sue on him. Woohoo! Now, if I remember, you can actually shoot those things and kill dudes. The ammunition boxes, they will blow up. That guy just puffed on a cigarette. Pay no attention to me! Killing dudes and getting free ammo. I love it. Ooh. Oh, I can't get any tube feed. I guess this is the game's way of telling me I should start using my shotgun more. Kinda like this tunnel. Let's stay on the same level for now. I suppose, but I don't know the man who can hold his breath for that long. It is not men we need to worry about. Ah, uh, yes, I see your point. Your buddy's dead. God, how much health do you fucking have, man? Ugh, that sucks. Now what is this? Is that Ash Rivers? No more, no more, no more, no more f fire. No fire. Ash? You. It ruined my face. The fire. I can still feel it in my wounds. They'll kill me. They'll come back with their brands and it will burn. Keep your voice down. I wouldn't talk so they burnt me. Again. And again, and again, their eyes, they, they enjoyed it. Before they come back, I'm begging you, let me out. I'll look for a way out, Ash. Or hang on, I got something that might help you heal up a few of those wounds. I once drank from the most desirable women in the world. Right now, this bag looks better than any of them. Nice. Don't go anywhere, I'll be back. Nice, I got some humanity. Nice, my humanity is maxed, I love it. What are these at here? That's 10, I'm guessing ashes is a 10 too. I hope to God that guy didn't have the key that just fell into the flippin' water. Didn't realize I was gonna karate kick him into oblivion. I don't even see his body anymore, honestly. Oh boy. All right. Oh. Save game. A lot of hard saves, everybody. Go 
Grunfeld. Grunfeld Bach, that's right. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do this. Might have been a bad idea. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was really bad. For some reason I thought if you blew up one of those things it just instantly killed uh, the guys that are nearby. Yeah, I guess it's not worth it. We'll just sneak around. I don't know where the key to rescue Ash is, but I do like that this guy... Shit. In darkness. Oh wow, Society of Leopold Selkie. Shit, now I gotta get back to Ash. Well, I'm gonna save again now. Hell yeah. I don't know how far he comes over here. Pretty far. What? Ooh, this could be good. I'm gonna say, watch he moves. Die! Hell yeah. Okay, this guy's gonna be an easy kill now. Which I love. Man, I love that. Just such an easy kill. How far does this guy come over here? Pretty far. Shit. doing it. Oh man, you guys are in trouble now. Because I will kill a man. Oh no. Die? Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. It ain't gonna feel very good either when I kill you. Only two of them, I'm gonna kill them. 
Oh, hi. Oh, shit. Give me your blood. Hell yeah. Alright. Wasn't the smoothest in the world, but you know what? I'm gonna take it. Okay, let's go rescue Ash. Excuse me. Ash. Thanks. You'll never see me again. I'm gonna go somewhere no one will ever see this face again. Whoa, dude, that sounds dark. Good luck in Canada. Goodbye, Ash. Oh, wow. There's no way he's just gone. He must have just disappeared. Okay. Well, I'm glad I rescued him. Feel a lot better. Oh, man. That could have gone a lot better, but you know what? I'll take this. A lot of shotgun shells. I wonder if the game wants me to use a shotgun against the next boss. Yeah, this seems a little dark. Yeah, more shotgun ammo. Let's save it. Here we go. Not sure how this is going to go. Look at my guy. Someone carving a knife? Ah, Grunfeld. <laughs> you missed. I knew Johansson would lure the servants to safety, but I said this help was the archfiend himself. Where is Lacroix? Lacroix? You think Lacroix would come here alone, you dumbass? Perhaps when Lacroix runs out of minions, he will show me his face, and God will guide my shots through it. Before I send you to eternal damnation, any last words? Uh, nope, let's do this. Let's see how good his shooting is. He can't hit me from where he's at. Yep, see, you're just shooting right into the ground, because you're an idiot. Oh, boy. Where is he now? Oh, there he is. I seize him! Come here, Grunfeld! <laughs> He's so funny. Come here, Grunfeld! Come here, Grunfeld! <laughs> oh, there he is. Well, I'm just tearing through him with my protein. Oh, you're, somebody's tough. Oh, you're, you're cheating a lot now. Oh, don't do this. Don't do this, Grunfeld. Come here, Grunfeld. Come here, Grunfeld. Oh, sorry, Grunfeld. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh, I love being a gangrel man. Like this, this is so incredibly powerful. I just, 
killed him quite easily. And if you can't tell, my blood is about half still. I had quite a bit more <laughs> What is he doing? Oh my gosh. This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I set up this thing to practice shooting at uh, vampires and werewolves. And, you know, sometimes they move, so I, I shoot them through here. Oh man, that is freaking hilarious. I'm surprised he didn't drop anything, in all honesty, though. He has some type of magic about him, too, because, like, he was holding up that cross. I wonder if he dropped a gun that went into, like, the wall, like it clipped in. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's going to be it. Uh, I hate to stop it, like, right here, like, right in the middle of a quest, but it's just about time for me to be streaming with my buddy. So yeah, again, that's Dream in Silence on Twitch TV. Uh, if you want to check out him play some Resident Evil scary type games and then some, uh, you know, Dark Souls. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you like this installment. It had its few dead moments, but there was some funny stuff, some good stuff too. Anyway, yeah, if you liked it, I hope to see you again next time, everyone. Bye for now.